Welcome to the 10-Day Growth Hacking Challenge with your host, Nader Sabri. Today, we are here with Ibrahim. He's with Titanium Escrow Services, and he is on hack number three. The 10-Day Growth Hacking Challenge is 10 days, three growth hacks to 10x your growth. It is based on the growth thinking uh, design methodology based in this book, which, which Ibrahim and other contenders are using. Uh, you can pick up a copy to learn how to do the same thing and watch the challenge to learn more. Before we start on hack number three, we'd like to review uh, for those who have just joined us, there's hack number one and hack number two. If you just wanna tell us quickly, Ibrahim, what hack number one and what hack number two was before we jump into hack number three. Yeah, absolutely. Happy to uh, happy to share those uh, uh, details. So uh, the most recent hack that we just completed was um, regarding invoicing. So the issue that we were having is that we would have clients come in, um, you know, they would ask a bunch of questions, use up our time, which we're happy to answer questions, but um, you know, they'd ask for contracts and we would spend hours doing the work. Um, and then eventually they, they wouldn't um, go through with the escrow and we never got paid. So we spent a lot of time and we ended up not getting paid. So what we did was um, we started just sending um, small processing fees uh, up front. And that helped filter out the clients that were serious from the clients that were just kind of, you know, kicking tires. Um, and then the first growth hack, although that was before that, was um, as far as putting together ranking for um, for the top law firms that provide escrow services. Uh, and essentially, by compiling that ranking, we became the kind of de facto um, uh, center of information on escrow in the region. Um, and uh, and helped us also understand who our clients are and, and who to kind of target and, uh, and who's doing what right. Um, so those were the two previous growth hacks. Uh, the growth hack that uh, we just completed uh, is, is also in progress is regarding onboarding um, to kind of streamline the onboarding process, reduce some of the friction points and help kind of build out a wider funnel or kind of a more focused um, uh, funnel. So um, essentially what, um, what's happened in the last uh, few days is I've been speaking with lawyers regarding kind of jointly ish, um, providing consultation services to their clients. Um, so so now that essentially the, the issue was that um, prior to Titanium escrow being created, escrow was extremely expensive. Uh, it was prohibitively expensive. Uh, and so clients really, you know, they either ruled it out or they only needed it when they absolutely, or they only used it when they absolutely needed to. Uh, with Titanium escrow, we, you know, we're essentially disrupting the, the escrow field. Um, our prices are extremely low and um, and competitive enough where clients can use multiple escrow accounts per transaction. So what uh, what what I've done is um, speak with uh, lawyers regarding um, kind of providing advisory to their clients on how escrow could, you know, best uh, best practices when it comes to escrow transactions. Now, of course, the lawyers, you know, they, they have, you know, they, they take risk based approaches and, and they never really put their name behind anything, but they are able to advise their clients on how to best use escrow. And this is something that hasn't really existed in the past because lawyers kind of stayed away from it. Uh, but now that we've brought the cost low enough where clients can use multiple escrow accounts and really understand the different uses um, for escrow for the various types of, of, of accounts during an M&A um, or during a commercial transaction. Uh, there's there's kind of the, that role now for that um, kind of uh, advisory service. So I've um, spoken with uh, multiple law firms. Uh, one of them has agreed to move forward and, and do kind of a seminar uh, jointly with us that um, uh, will be will be public. Um, hopefully, I'll keep you updated on that. Um, and others have agreed to um, to kind of advise their clients on how to best use um, escrow for fund holding during their transaction, how to mitigate risk, and how to best structure the transaction. So. So really it's a win-win for everyone. The law firms are now um, billing additional hours. The clients uh, have transactions that are more secured and um, and we've been able to, to kind of streamline the onboarding process and, and the funnel. Um, yeah. So that essentially the firms are now doing business development for us. Yeah, perfect. So for a bit of background for those tuning in, one of the challenges was um, the fact that law firms were a bit timid about providing the escrow services. And I think that's just a, a polite way of putting it. Um, and one of the ways that we got past that was integrating um, a service fee that would be billable for 
actually helping somebody understand how to use the escrow service. So that's not the execution element uh, because escrow services, uh, they're simple, but they have many different components to it. And Ibrahim is going to be, uh, well, he's already started. He's educating the law firm and then the lawyers individually. And then he'll work with the lawyers on transactions, um, essentially to educate the client why they should use escrow, the type of escrow they should use, in what circumstances they can use it, and some of the features and functions that come with using escrow that they may have not known that can basically mitigate some of the liabilities or some of the transactional situations or situations inside the transaction that could be complicated mechanics or uh, some risks that may be involved. And what was interesting as Ibrahim is disrupting this space, uh, education in the form of onboarding is crucial because once he onboards the law firm, and then the lawyers, and then he's able to work with them through their own service to implement directly to the client, it almost becomes like a seamless component of the law firm without them having to do anything. And they take zero liability, and the service is completely pushed over to Ibrahim. Um, this is a great, what we call a siphoning hack. We're able to siphon into somebody else's resources, of course, in a legitimate, legal, and ethical way. Uh, onboarding is something that you've probably heard me talk about tons of times. It's probably one of the areas that I always see in my clients' businesses, if not done well, the aggregate growth suffers. If it's not done at all, you obviously lack the growth, but when done well and done right and optimized, you would be surprised how much impact on the aggregate growth of your organization that onboarding would have, especially in more complicated kinds of products. And in this particular case, in the B2B space, um, Ibrahim is in the business of taking the, the distrust uh, between two parties away by using escrow services. And correct me if I'm wrong, Ibrahim, but you can probably dig a little bit deeper into that. But I think it's wonderful what you've done. If you can give us a little bit more insight on, on some of the next steps that you plan to do with this hack uh, for onboarding the law firms and, and potentially other types of organizations. Yeah, absolutely. So um, so we've, we, uh, we've discussed setting up a seminar um, that was with a, a large multinational firm that does everything from shipping m a to, to kind of corporate commercial and real estate um so just a seminar for their clients not only for their clients actually it's, it's gonna be a public seminar um and uh once that firm does the seminar i um i believe that we're gonna have more firms kind of flocking to really understand um you know what our services are and how they can offer it to their clients uh, because, you know, the firms, they, they take a risk-based approach and to their clients, they like to structure the transactions to be as risk-averse risk as possible. Absolutely. Um, and using escrow is a critical component of that. And now that escrow is available, they would essentially be, you know, providing bad counsel to their clients if they don't actively recommend, um, you know, using escrow in many of these situations. So in, in, in some ways, um, they're actually putting themselves at risk by, by not... Um, you know, advising their clients on escrow or, or really kind of uh, embracing um, the best um, kind of best practices in the market. Um, so, um, so yeah, so, so next step is, is to have that kickoff seminar. Um, and then I'll continue to do outreach to the various firms that I'm in touch with, you know, because in the past, what happened is these firms were like, yeah, great. When we have a client, we'll, we'll send them to you. No problem. Um, and then I never hear back from them. Uh, but this way they're, they're kind of vested um, and they, they take a more proactive approach because they're getting paid. Um, and, uh, and they're also advising their clients, on, uh, you know, uh, uh, um, again, kind of come back to that best practices. So, um, so those are the next steps. Hopefully, awesome. hopefully the seminar will happen in the next few weeks. And then after that, we'll be able to kind of piggyback off of, uh, the growth and the PR of that, and then, uh, get more firms to, to, um, to also be able to offer the services. Excellent. And I, I believe genuinely there's a link between hack number one and number three, hack one being the data that you'd be used to ranking organizations in the sense of who 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 provides uh, escrow and some of the deeper data related to that. Plus the fact that you're onboarding some of these new organizations uh, or, or well, they're not new, but onboarding these organizations. I think the combination of hack one and three could play a very interesting hybrid. I don't think it, it's visibility is at the moment, but in the near future, I think that you're going to find a link between the two um, and you'll be able to utilize actually both of them. Because if you use the rank as part of your onboarding process and kind of show them where they perform as an organization compared to other people in the space, especially when you're helping them mitigate uh, liability and risk, plus adding value at the same time, I think it's a winning proposition. I think, I think it'll do very Absolutely. well for you. And I, and I expect to see some many great things uh, coming out of this. 
and I'm I'm and I'm happy with hack number two because it streamlined a revenue barrier yeah. for you, an immediate revenue barrier. So the Absolutely. combination of these three growth hacks, I think, are going to be uh, quite amazing for you. Um, yeah. Any anything else you want to share about growth hack number three, or is that it? You're ready to rock and roll. I'm uh, I'm ready to rock and roll. I mean, it's um it's a it's a game changer for us. It's a game changer for the industry. It's a game changer almost even for the legal market within the UAE. The fact that you know escrow is now accessible um you know we're bringing the cost of escrow down from fifty thousand dollars to to eight thousand dollars um which wow. will completely re revolutionize the way that transactions are structured um yeah. locally so um so very excited about it and uh, now it's just a matter of kind of getting the word out and um and getting those firms to also proactively uh, engage their clients on the, on the solutions fantastic guys that's ibrahim with titanium escrow services Check out his information below. Feel free to reach out to him. Take a closer look at what he does. Keep your eyes and ears open. There's going to be many more great things to come out of the things that he's about to do. That's hack number three. We'll see you in the next video where we're going to be talking about his overall experience and some of the things that have come out of this and the transformations related to the 10-day growth hacking challenge. For those that you want to know more about the challenge, please click on the channel and subscribe. Uh, follow me on Instagram or YouTube. Pick up your copy of the book. You'll be able to get more information on how to do exactly what we're doing here for yourself. And we'll go from there. Ibrahim, thank you very much. We'll see you in the next video.